This playthrough is rated M for Mature. It's time to go sewer surfing. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Shadowrun Dragonfall. In the last episode, we got we finished all our missions, talked to talked to everyone, and then set our way to pay Alice. And unfortunately, when we got to Alice, it found out she she'd bailed because something was going after her as well. So whoever was killing all those Deckers were trying to go after her too, and she got away with it. But she left us a little. Uh, clue on what we need to do before she ran off so luckily the money was paid for something however the cruise was already attacked by the fire wings bodyguards or a uh, little mini army so now we have to go into the sewers and stop them before they uh, blow the place so let's head inside oh yeah and we had to save all our allies unfortunately blitz disappeared because he's technically uh, optional for this part uh, optional character so Beneath the cruise bazaar, you and your team descend into the sewers, footsteps echoing off the damp stone walls. You barely notice the smell. There's no time to waste. Audrin's team of mercenaries is down here somewhere, racing to plant their explosive charges against the Kievs. The fate of the cruise bazaar is in your hands now. Or is in your hands, yep. Alright. Now we're in a combat section. Um, yeah, if you remember these sewers from when we fought the... Uh, um, uh, ghouls before, so. so you just gotta kind of slowly move on through this place. So we got a couple of spots we had to go. We had to go down there and up here. So let's just, just move some of our faster or units over there. So yeah, we have to just kind of go until until something happens. So. Well, luckily we have quite a few team members here, you know. We got Dietrich, Dante, yeah, the dog joined us in the last episode. Found out he was a hellhound. Unfortunately, he only joins us for this section, so. He's not a permanent party member, he's just here to help us during this part of the game, so. Right, let's have... Alright, there's some mercenaries right there. Oh, and what do we got there? We got some ghouls. Now, are they on our side or their side? All right, let's see. Dietrich. I mean, I could have buffed him before, but. Yeah. I, mean, I could probably afford not to have to worry about. Let's see. Yeah, probably gonna be our rifle in this case. Man, this rifle's so useful. Ooh, so close. Alright, let's. I was hoping it would be a good spot for me to hide, but. or to target them, but. Yeah. Oh well. I don't think I have. Nope. All right. All right. Let's drone control. Ha! Huh, surprised I hit with that low percentage. Yeah, man, I'm just really surprised I'm hitting. To tell you the truth, like last game, that's so many. Well, can't win them all, I guess. I wonder if Dante can see him from there. I want to see if I can get this petrify to work. It works better on those who have, like, no willpower, basically. Hey! Yeah, the ghouls are helping. Nice. Alright, let's, uh... Target, can I see you? No. Oh. Well. What? Come on. Maybe get to you. I see. There we go. Got someone. Just, just spray and pray, baby. With uh, with her when you got the rifle. I was like, you uppercut the, the poor bastard. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. 
Just defuse that. There, there we go. Unfortunately, we're still in combat. I mean, we just have to move as is, but yeah, uh, the ghouls will... Now, I'm not sure if the ghouls will help us. Uh, if it, I think it depends on that mission, like how you finish that one mission, if, if they're... Uh, um, oh yeah, I guess I get to un unhook myself from that since we're not in combat, so... Yeah, I think I think if you don't help the ghouls in that one case, uh, then they don't they just don't help you during this section, if I remember. Okay, I'm just gonna click you. And... Yeah, the only problem with doing like combat sections like this is it kind of drags out a little bit. Even if there's no enemy, oh, I should have waited to. Uh... No, there's an enemy down that way, so. Because you just want to get to the next section and have, and instead of having to move characters all the way down there, but you know. especially if you have multiple groups, no, it doesn't take that long. This game's pretty smooth about that. So. Follow the ghoul. The ghoul knows the way. Because yeah, there's the other. there and then activate it. Yeah, I'll move, uh, keep still here for next, until next turn. And then we'll activate all our stuff again if we need to. Probably do all our buffs and everything as well. Come on, over here, boy. Run, run. Run to daddy. All right, and that turn. <coughs> I'll let you do whatever you do, dude. Got haste for one more turn, huh? Let's see. Yeah, time to shoot a mage in the face. Dude, you shot Marv in the face. That's 87% game. I'm gonna bite you. One more time for the bite. There we go. There's the other guys. Uh, see if I can mark you. Of course not. Can I see that guy? Yeah, I can. Let's try the sniper rifles on you. There we go. Oh, there's the other. I just. But there is a. Did you really try to shoot a shotgun from that far away? <coughs> well, luckily, have the ghouls to help us. Yeah, sorry, I've been coughing a little bit. It's just that time of year. Time for all the sickness. Yeah. Uh, I may have a problem. I finished them off just from there. From, let's see. I don't actually have to go down. There's no other thing about it. I don't have to send my guy to do that, so. So I'll just have Iger set it off and then have everyone uh, head up, I guess. Run away! Run away! Where are you 
hell going? Yeah, we can just follow the ghouls, you know. There, let's uh get that bomb. There. And then find the final bomb, which is over here. So but that's where all the ghouls have been running to, so. Alright. Yeah, zip. D what the? Can he float? Sting like a butterfly? No. But. Yeah, it's just the game. Yeah, sometimes the game will have the robot that's following the drone be able to actually follow you efficiently, or it'll get stuck behind doors just because. You know, like that one mission, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, that mission was annoying just because the drone got locked behind the door. <laughs> What are you doing? I think the zombie was like broken or something. Isn't it? Yeah, we probably could activate, even though we should wait for Agar to get there, but we probably could activate the door. I don't know. Yeah, there's the... I assume the shotgun guys were shooting. Oh yeah, because I think there's a... a uh, zombie there so yeah see so he's been oh he's actually been getting shot and getting hit at the same time so nice alright there we go uh, yeah since Iger's not there I could at least get an aim on you Hey, even if I miss, I hit someone. Yeah, let's move over here. What it? And drone control. Yeah, probably won't hit with him, but you never know. Nope. There we go. There you go. See if I can hit anyone with a petrify. Yeah, it's better against those with those like big bulky dudes. Ow! I actually didn't see that guy. You're not gonna help me, uh, dude. All right, fine. He's just running back and forth. They summoned. Uh, See if we can mark that conjurer there. Nice. There we go. Let's see if we can get lucky. Nice. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm just gonna have her run up ahead. Why not? Let's see if we can. See if we can get a crit on him. Whoo, nice. Sometimes, sometimes everything comes up millhouse. Ow. Alright. So you got, I mean, that's a good game. Sure, I'll try to hit you with some goo. I don't need anything from that. But hopefully, hopefully the uh, zombies don't attack me just because I accidentally missed you. There's that one ghoul. <laughs> yeah, didn't expect to have ghouls down here to help me, did ya? Mercenary. 
Okay. And our glory just defused that bomb. Alright, we're done. Let's head to the safe house. Let's head to the safe house, Paul. Take care of Paul. That orc is going to pay for this. We were actually, actually the bombs almost went off because I think it said wait one more turn before the bombs go off or something like that, so. I actually wasn't paying attention to that because usually you get plenty of time to get to the bombs, so. But, okay. Trying to see if there's, and yeah, you can't talk to the uh, ghouls here, so. Yeah, I think it depends on how you deal with the ghouls. Obviously, if you killed them all, um, there wouldn't be any help here, so. So it benefits you not to you know, have attack, account, attack everything that's in this place, you know. But that's up to you, depending on how you want to roleplay or difficulty or whatever. Because I don't think there's a uh, difficulty achievement in this game, if I recall. So you can play it however you want. So. But that's pretty much it for the attack on the cruise of our section. So. You emerge from the foulness, foulness of the sewers, only to be met with the equally dark stench of cordite and death. Although you've saved the keys... It is far from unharmed. Residents wander the streets dazed, holding their wounds, wounded, wounds, tending to others, observing the damage. The look in their eyes tells the story. Their illusion of safety has been shattered. Interpol Amsel's trade emporium already know what you'll find there. The knowledge doesn't make the discovery any easier. And for finishing that section, we get eight karma for our efforts. Once again, the team gathers around Paul Amsil, but tonight he has no more missions to offer, no advice to give. His body lies motionless on the hardwood cooling in the night air. The ruin of his face has been hidden under a burlap tarp. For several minutes, nobody speaks. Finally, Dietrich steps forward. I think V should say something about Paul. There's another moment of silence, and Iger speaks up. I'll go. Iger brings herself to attention, stares straight ahead. Paul Amsil was an important member of this team, and he supported us well. He said what he was going to do, and he did it. That's rare. That's worthy of respect. She looks down at the body. There's a long pause before she speaks again. Thank you, Paul Amsil, for everything. Another pause. Her voice softens. I was out of position when they came for you. I couldn't save you. I'm sorry. The others shift uncomfortably, not knowing what to say. Glory speaks the, uh, breaks the awkward moment, her voice a frosty monotone. I appreciate what Absol did for us. It's another loss, once th that this team cannot afford. Glory's eyes sweep across the room, the land on Amsel's body. Her expression is impossible to read. After a moment, she turns her head to look at you. Eh... Uh. I uh, see. It's hard, I know, but this is why we need to keep together, support each other. No one's going to look out for us but us. Dietrich eyes you appreciatively. Yeah, that's right. There's more to this than a mercenary's paycheck. There has to be. Goodbye, Paul. Gotsimitya. Gingerly, Blitz steps forward. His hair is must, and there's a fresh bullet hole in his jacket. He smells like smoke and blood and stale sweat, and his hands tremble as he takes them out of his pocket. Well, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't, didn't know Paul as well as the rest of you, but he seemed like a good guy. He shuffles his feet. I didn't want to see this happen at any rate. You okay, Blitz? Looks like you and Malit saw some action back there. Yeah. His eyes remain fixed on Amsel's body. I'll live. As if in turn, Dante lowers his head sadly, lets out a heavy sigh, and closes his eyes. We'll miss you, Paul. Don't worry about the body. I know what to do. Be respectful, but be quick. After all, it's only a shell. Paul is with Monica now. We're, uh, we're all going to be with Monica soon if we don't do something. The fire vein came after us once. She'll do it again. That dragon really wants us dead. No shit. Whatever she's planning, it's clear that the fire first thing will ha allow no disruptions from us or from anyone. Come on, everyone, let's get a look at that optical chip. I want to see what we're dealing with. Alright, let's take a look at that. And for finishing that section, we get the final uh, levels of the game. We hit level 6 with our characters. So, yeah, you can see this at levels. I, I haven't been uh, pointing this out before, but this tells you like what uh, bonuses you get for level 6. So, they get the plus 1 AP. Iger gets quickness bonuses, buff to body, range combat, and dodge. So anyway, final ability of the game, we can either give her a speed loader, 
Uh, Iger gains an ability that reloads all of our equipment and weapons for zero IP, which is really nice, so you don't have to waste a turn uh, reloading your weapons. Or we can give her the Sniper Rifle Specialist 3 ability. Iger gains an ability that can target two enemies in one action. Cost one AP, two, a cooldown three. So, um, I personally prefer uh, the Rifle Specialist number three, but Speed Loader has its own benefits, but uh, I think I think we have enough AP in this game already, but yeah, I'm gonna give her a snap fire, so let's uh, confirm that. All right, then uh, Dietrich. He gets body one, quickness one, strength one, charisma one, willpower one, uh, AP one. I mean, Iger had more of these two. Actually, I could probably show it now, so, and shotgun one. But yeah, Dietrich gets a lot of little bonuses. Body, quickness, strength, charisma, willpower, AP, throwing weapons, spell casting, conjuring, spirit summoning plus two, spirit control plus one. Anyway, his advancement is two. He gets the dra he can get the Dragon Slayer's Wrath, which is the Dragon Slayer now harms all foes within three tiles of Dietrich for 16 damage. On subsequent lands, targets take five HP of damage and one AP of damage. What well, that could be cool, but the problem is, is you have to put Dietrich in the midst of combat to do that. So you have to get into next to enemies to activate it and I usually don't want Dietrich to get smacked around he's more of my support guy anyway but that's an option to do but it replaces the Dragon Slayer idol which was the anyone with his in his vicinity takes uh, less less damage so or you can give it the Dragon Slayer shield which augment it's an augment smell for the Dragon Slayer idol Dietrich's idol grows more powerful decreasing damage by additional two points I know I haven't been using it very much but I do prefer the Dragon Slayer shield as opposed to Wrath, so I'm not going to do that, but that's up to you. Uh, Glory, Combat Medic, she gets Body, Quickness, Strength, Intelligence, AP, Range Combat, Close Combat 2, Throne Weapons 2, Biotech, Dodge, Pistol, and Iron Armed. So she can either get Trauma Specialist, which upgrades the Bumano kit to the Platinum version, which gives you 100 HP upon Resurrection, or you can give her the Revolver, uh, which get, she gains a Ruger Super Warhawk. Super Ruger Thalkerberg. I know. Uh, Glory carries a custom Ruger Super Warhawk revolver with hand machine armor piercing ammo. 14 damage, 6 cap, 4 armor pierce. So both can be nice, but this is only a one time thing. And we fight so much stuff in the game, I prefer a weapon. So. And I can always buy if, when I have extra equipment. Because basically at this point of the game, we're, we finally unlock the final shops. So at this point, basically spend the rest of your new year well i guess you don't have to spend all your new year we do have one mission which then we come back we get a quick like you know shop for the finale and then go to the finale but at this point we're pretty much spending most of our money so but anyway i'm gonna give her the revolver all right and then finally blitz you know i'm not gonna use but hey anyway he gets body quickness charisma intelligence 2 ap range combat two decking one drone control smg esp control and drone combat uh, he can either get the pain suppressor, the suppression augment. Uh, while Blitz is jacked into the matrix, attacks on his physical body are reduced by three damage. So if people are smacking him while he's decking, it doesn't hurt him as much. Uh, and then he also can, or he can get the Nova Hot targeting, which upgrades his mark target. Just it's basically similar to mine, um, where it just increases. Although in this case, it uh. Um, this uh, increase, uh, reduces their armor by two, which can be pretty good. You know, mine doesn't do that. Mine just does the percentage to hit. But um, since I'm not using him, it doesn't matter. Um, I would probably go with Nova Hot Targeting overall if you are using him regularly. So, okay. All right, let's go check out that uh, chip. And what's here? There's a note atop the box. Blackwire, the dot, uh, Blackwire, the lodge thanks you for your dutiful service. Open the box. And for helping the lodge throughout the game, we get a, uh, prototype combat suit. An armored ensemble developed by, for Black Ops Commandos grants plus one to all attributes. What would you like to do with this item? Uh, well, let's send it to the stash for now, but I will equip it, so. We also get a Force 5 Fire Elemental Fetish. Send that to the thing. We also get an Ares High Explosive Grenade, which does 20 damage with 2 a AoE. Also can strip 1 armor. Awesome. We also get a Boomanoa uh, Platinum. So yeah, this is that's the reward for helping the Lodge. But yeah, since we're at the end of the game, that's it for the Lodge, by the way. So. Alright, let's actually go, let's go and swap out our... Yeah, we, don't, we won't get the 2 Charisma anymore, but that's fine. 
uh, I want the better armor and plus one to all my stats is really nice. So. There, let's give us ourselves the combat suit. Ah, oh, we look very cool indeed. Means I don't actually have to buy armor for the finale because uh, there is some prototype armor you can buy, but that'll save me a few thousand credits, so I don't have to worry about doing it on that. So. Look at our stats. Yeah, went to everything now. So, and I don't think I need. I think five charisma is the most I need for the finale for like one specific conversation. If you want to get a very specific version of the ending, uh, you can. There are. There's basically in the game. There's technically. There's like three major endings, and then there's variations that ending depend on certain choices, which the next mission will do, will affect uh, what uh, the ending will be. To an extent. Dante lifts his head up and looks at you mournfully. The feral aggression has gone from his eyes. He's changed. You can see it, but he's still Dante. So, back via Dante was very helpful out there, but I'm a bit concerned about this. Fire breathing, pretty cool trick, don't you think? It is handy. That's not hard to argue. He's not a normal dog, not by long shot. Is he possessed? I assume you've checked his aura and discovered he's part hellhound. Monica trained him for months to be combat ready. Well, had a hot, we very had a hellhound in the house and Monica didn't tell us? For months? Backfire has him under control. Dante performed well in the field. Followed commands flawlessly. I have no concerns. Eh. Uh, welcome to the team, Dante. <laughs> uh, okay. And then, uh... Let's see. Okay, can't go back there. Okay, let's go and check the mission computer. The cool blue tones of the workstation's main menu fill the screen. A blinking message in the bright corner notifies you of zero messages. Okay, so uh, let's see if anything in the BBS before we go. Oh yeah, I forgot to, oh no, we can, we already did the payday. No, I need to grab the payday, that's it. Uh, S technology DNA donor list. So we get 600 minus 60, 540 for that. Nice. I think that's the last payday in the game. Yeah, so hmm, nice little extra bit. So, all right, let's see what this says. Selling used custom West Wind 2000. Like it says, good condition, clean, got the turbocharged kit, added uh, additional armor, plating, added to the front and sides. Trunk is a mounted Ares auto cannon, but you'll need a rigger to operate it. No hand access. Look for 80,000 OBO. Nice car, wouldn't happen to be any corpse. Well, a core is looking for it at any moment, eh? Has PPS been triggered? Any Rex rebuild? RE Tolstoy. Nope, all clear on that front. Nobody drove this baby but me. And I don't wreck cars. The auto cannon dropped the last sucker who tried to do any damage. No more posts. Yep. Okay, so I guess we're done with that. And okay, let's check the Alice's optical chip. You select the optical chip and then the computer's winning chip deck. On the screen, Alice's office blossoms into view. A half second later, a real-time simulation of Alice appears, seated behind her mahogany desk. Something about it reminds you of a figure from a wax museum, lifelike but dead inside. It greets you with a facsimile of Alice jo Alice's joyless smile. Customer name, Blackwire. Its voice is hollow synth and synthetic, an automaton masquerading as a living woman, one who you've never even met in the flesh. Account number 1012579. Greetings, value customer. I'm an offline simulacrum of Alice Persona. I've been included on this chip to answer any questions they might have about your informational purchase. Uh, uh, <coughs> I almost forget this. Excellent for seven. Nifty piece of tech. Not to nab it. No, uh, I meant to go. Nice piece of tech. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes when I get caught in certain voices, it's hard for me to get into another one at the time. So, if you're ready to proceed, I will present Alice's findings. You may. Interrupt this presentation at any point by saying, Alice, I have a question. Is that the only thing you'll respond to, or can I talk to you like a normal person? The symbol acronym hitches slightly. You may interrupt this presentation at any point by saying, Alice, I have a question. Um, that doesn't that. We're ready. Let's get the show on the road. Very well. Commencing presentation. The symbol acronym goes rigid for a moment, then seems to relax. When it speaks, it sounds more natural, as though the real Alice is speaking through it. All right, Blackwire, I've got good news for you, and I've got bad news. Let's start with the good news. I found Vauclair, and he is alive. Thank God. 
The trail to your missing doctor was a long and slippery one. The fee that you paid me barely covered my cost for the job. I sent a team at SOX on a fact-finding mission. I bribed government officials and greased the palms of wage slaves at megacorps all across Europe. Each step I took eliminated possibilities, drew me a little bit closer, and finally I found the place where Beauclair is being held. The simulacrum makes a sweeping gesture with its right hand, an image switch blades onto the screen. A grainy overhead po photograph, annotated with map coordinates, you recognize it immediately. This is where you'll find him. He is being held captive at a remote estate called the Harfield Manor. You've got... you've got to be kidding me. He was there the whole time! Glory says nothing. She just stays the photograph with the nods. Okay. Nobody tell me I'll get it. Is th this is something else that I'll missed. Uh, Alice, I have a question. The simulacrum hitches again and you can feel the life drain out of it. It looks up at you robotically. I have a question. All right. Please make your inquiry now. You said that Vauclair is being held at that estate. What evidence did you turn up to support that? One of my assets at TransNeuronet provided me with a video feed data of 2053-1010. The feed was taken by a corporate surveillance drone. Playback commencing. The screen is filled with a grainy black and white video feed. You recognize the Harfield Manor, photographed from high above. The camera pushes in and the image sharpens. Through a barrel ground level window, you can see the shape of a stooped, emaciated figure. His body sh cl shows clear signs of neglect. The figure is unmistakable. It's Vauclair. Twenty years older and worse for wear, his skin hangs loose on his bones and his cheeks are hollow. There is distinctly gray pallor to, pallor to his skin. That's Vauclair, all right. What's well, left of him, anyway? It doesn't look like they've been feeding him much. He shakes his head. Well, bastard. Another figure steps into the frame behind Vauclair, an orc. He turns his head slightly and his skin grafts catch the light. Vauclair slowly turns to face Audrin and the video feed cuts out. Simulacrum stares at you impassively. Do you have another question? What else did you turn up at the Harfield Manor? Seismological data and thermal imaging confirm the existence of a large hollow chamber under the estate. It is my suspicion that Dr. Vauclair is being held somewhere within this substructure. If first being kept Vauclair trapped there for almost 20 years, she's got to have a reason for it. It takes effort and resources to lock a man away for that amount of time. So what's her end game in all this? Why not just kill him and be done with it? Malice? Revenge? Who knows? Re remember that this was the man who shot her down. He sent her crashing into a radioactive waste stand. If someone did that to me, I'd want to hurt him too, and I'd make it last. I think it goes deeper than that. According to Winter's DVD, Vauclair designed the experimental weapon that shot her down, and that weapon split her body from her essence. Glory glances down at her own steel and chrome arms and suppresses a shudder. If I had to guess, I'd say that she's trying to make him fix whatever he did to her. That's what makes sense to me. There's a moment of silence as the group pro processes Glory's suggestion. Before anyone can speak, the Silmar Akram cuts back in. Do you have another question? No more questions. Let's get on to the bad news. Very well. Feel free to interrupt again with any future inquiries. The simulacrum pauses, and a brief tremor washes over its body. Its eyes flutter, and you can hear the soul of your computer working to process more of the chip's data. Iger turns to address the team. If Eclair, if Eclair's at Harfield, we've got a problem. The last time we broke into that place, they took Monica out. It was a miracle that any of you got out to dive. Yeah, but now that we know we're down there, this time we'll be prepared for it. We can handle this. Iger shakes her head. No, it'll be even worse this time. The first time we went in, we had the element of surprise on our side, but now they'll be expecting us. They're hunting us, remember? The security team is going to be waiting for us. Dietrich, that Audrin bastard is going to be waiting for us, and if we make it past them, we're going to have to deal with the dragon in the basement. Well, what else can we do? Cut and run? The last time I checked, that wasn't an option either. Even if we were, it wouldn't take it. I wouldn't take it. I'm not running from this. Not out of what they did here tonight. None of us are our glory, but Iger's right. We can't just go charging in there, not without some kind of edge. The simulacrum jerks back to life. It resumes speaking blissfully unaware of the conversation is cutting off. And now, Blackwire, on to the bad news. You now know where Vauclair is, but rescue him will be not possible. Alice, I have a question. He continues without waiting for a response. Why the hell not? <laughs> In the course of my investigation, I encountered something terrifying in the Matrix. It was fast, cunning, very definitively intelligent. I'm convinced that I only escaped because it let me go. It could have killed me in a heartbeat if it wanted to. 
This thing that I met is protecting the Harfield Manor. It's going after anyone who gets too close to what's happening there. Alice? Alice, what do you... Did you see in there? What is going after these people? By way of explanation, I would like you to read the following document. The simulacrum makes another sweeping gesture, and the, the menu slides back onto the screen. This time it's filled with text. What you're looking at is an archived forum discussion from the early days of the Shadowland BBS. Blitz stares at the text on the screen. Uh, oh, she is, a. Uh, it isn't kidding, Chief. This discussion is dating back to 2036. That's ancient history in the decking community. Probably isn't even correct to call these guys deckers. Hackers would be more appropriate, Tim. When you're finished reading it over, say Alice, I'm done, and we can continue. Read the archive discussion. As you lean in to read, the text slowly begins to scroll up from the bottom of the screen. You all hear about this S-Key team that got crisp a few hours ago? A whole lab's worth of researchers, all burned and broken beyond recognition. Ugly stuff. Clockwork. At this point, who hasn't? Big Pharma. Power spike got him right through the data jacks like a bolt of lightning to the bra brain. What'd you say, Doc? A bolt of lightning! A one in a million accent is what they're saying, Mr. Mayhem. And you believe that? Clockwork. Got a more plausible explanation, Mr. Mayhem. Yes, actually, it was a cleanup operation, Clockwork. Car would be intrigued. What were they cleaning up, Big Pharma? A secret project that Wolfrey didn't want anyone, anyone, anything to do with. You might have heard rumors about it. The project named Apex, Clockwork. And you lost me there, Mr. Mayhem. Apex clock, Apex clockwork. Seriously, that old line of dreck? Big Pharma. I'm telling you, jokers, Apex is real. Or at least it was until the Wizmer pulled the plug, clockwork. Come on, clockwork. We're still decades away from seeing a fully functional AI. You know that. Those Apex stories that have been floating around, they're just some conspiracy nuts wet dream, Mr. Mayhem. Fine. Cut, uh, keep your heads in the sand. Some of us know the truth and we, when we read it, clockwork. Okay, Clock, I'll humor you, but real me this, Batman. If Wolfrey had an armed and operational AI in his claws, why kill it, Big Pharma? You remember what happened to most of Echo Mirage? Clockwork. The crash virus killed them, fried their brains, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. It's from Mr. Mayhem. With the commercial release of the CDT-1000, some security firms are working on counter-intrusion software that can do the same thing. Black Ice. You can look it up if you don't believe me, from Clockwork. I think I'm going to stop saying who's saying it, just, just to get on with it. Whoa, scary stuff, man. Well, the goal of the Apex project was even scarier. I see ways for you to come to it. Apex wouldn't be bound by those restrictions. It would go out hunting, hit its targets when it's least expecting it. That's why they called it Apex. It was designed to be the Apex predator of the digital world. Digimon, digital monster. And so rather than using it to its advantage, Lofri decided to kill it in the candle. The Wizardworm's no fool. Some things are too dangerous to play around with. How would you put that genie back in the bottle if it ever slipped out of your control? Answer, you couldn't. And then it would take over the world! One, 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 one. Okay, this thread has officially gone off the rails. I'm closing it down for good of mankind. <laughs> the slow scroll of text comes to stop. Alice, I'm done. Civil Akram jerks back to life, then settles into a neutral pose. There are no official records in the Seder Krupp database to support the existence of the Apex project, but the thing that I encountered was Apex. Of that I am certain. Just as I am certain that Apex was responsible for the deaths of Monica Schaefer, Green Winters, Clockwork, Peregrine, and a score of other Deckards over the last 16 years. Blizz raises his hand. Uh, hold up, uh, Alice, I have a question. I thought they said that Wilfrey killed Apex. S they speculated as much, yes, they were wrong on that account. I do believe that Sadie Krupp was developing Apex as a tool for Matrix Warfare. I am also convinced that the IT personnel who were killed were the Apex development team, but I don't think that Wilfrey were responsible for the deaths. Apex killed them. That'd be my guess, yes. In the turmoil surrounding Lofri's buyout of Seder Krupp, a number of projects went missing. I believe that Apex was appropriated by a member of First Wing's organization at that point. It was then unleashed on its own development team to silence them. Since then, it has provided information control for the Firewing. A pet AR would explain how far First Wing had managed to maintain their conspiracy and avoid detection for the past two decades. Any time anyone gets close, the AI takes them out and scrubs the record clean. So there's your bad news, Blackwire. Both Claire is being held at the Harfield Manor, but knowing that does no good because you can't approach this place. I doubt you would could open the door without Apex fi frying you. We did it last time. They were trying to protect their secrets like Aldrin said. If we hadn't gone down into the basement, they'd let to school. Apex didn't react to us until Monica attempted to force the door to the basement. Now that the cat's out of the bag, they have no reason to not to pull the big guns out on sight. 
Dietrich grimaces. You're right. We can't go back while Apex is in place. The room falls into silence. Finally, Iger turns to you. What's the plague back, Thaya? We can't turn back now. If Apex is staying between us and Vauclair, then we need to find a way to kill Apex. Fucking A, boss. I'm in. Did you hear that, Alice? Uh, did you have any suggestions? The symbol acrim hitches again. The pause stretches. Finally, it comes to life. The AI has a kill switch, but Alice deemed any additional contact with Apex to be an unjustifiable risk. Attempting to re reach the kill switch would be inadvisable. Well, fellas, uh, save me the warnings. I'm going to kill this thing. I owe Monica that much. You and me both. Alice, tell us uh, about the Apex's kill switch. The symbol acrim stares at you with dead eyes. Thanks to my close encounters with the AI, I was able to run a trace on it. Through this trace, I discovered the physical address of the backdoor access point for Apex's programming, an old Seder Crypt research lab, long since abandoned and fallen into disrepair. The facility is now hotly contested gang territory. I have also determined that a kill switch for the AI exists somewhere in the basement of this facility. I will provide you with a physical address. I don't want the smell of this, Chief. It said that Apex let Alice escape. He turns to address the simulacrum on the screen. Alice, why would the Matrix Warfare AI allow you to run a trace on it? It stares straight ahead. Its eyes are dead. I'm afraid that the answer to that question falls outside of the scope of my written parameters. The simulacrum stutters one final time then looks up at you with an apologetic smile. I have now reached the end of this presentation. I have been encoded with a final message from Alice to Blackwire. Playback in commencing. The simulacrum's eyes go wide and the life floods back into it. It stares directly at you. Blackwire, if you didn't listen to me before, listen to me now. Drop this. Stop going after Vauclair. Get out of Berlin and stay out of the Matrix. I'm telling you this for your own good. That's all I have to say. I'm following my own advice. I'm out, yo. No, she didn't say yo. Don't try to contact me again. The silver eye converts to the, its idle state, slumping like a puppet with its strings cut. Its eyes glaze over and its face goes slack. Then the screen cuts to black. So the Trekken is a killer AI in charge of security. I can't say I'm surprised, but then nothing surprises me anymore. We know what killed Monica. We have a name for it, and we know how to kill it. That's good enough for me. We know what we have to do. We can either stand around, we can either stand around talking about it, or we can go do it. Agreed. We shut down Apex, then we re-enter the estate and rescue Vauclair. He's the key to this whole thing. Sounds like a plan, boss. I still say that all of this is crazy talk, Chief. Taking on an AI isn't just a bad idea, it's suicide. And so my vo voice is to cut and run. Blitz surveys the rest of the group, sees the determination in their faces, finally sighs. But if you're really doing this, you'll want the best decker you can find along for the rod. And I guess that nominates me. Boo. <laughs> Except I'm the decker, so don't worry about it, Blitz. Alice said that the kill switch is located in some of SK facility. Assuming that the site was shut down sometime after the Apex project disappeared, it could have stood empty for years, maybe decades. She also said that the building was a gang territory now. I wonder if it'll be anything like Das Kursa House of us. God, I hope not. There's only one way to find out. Let's get prepped. This thing isn't going to kill itself. And don't forget, boss, we're talking about an AI here. I'd recommend bringing the best cyber deck that you can afford. Something tells me that we're going to need all the firepower we can get here. Iger begin, uh, begins her weapons check. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Wherever there, we'll deal with it. First, we'll find out our, uh, find our way into the basement. She peers through the scope on her sniper rifle, and then we kill the AI that killed Monica. Damn right! The team breaks to begin gearing up. As the, she slides a shell into her shotgun, Iger catches your eye. You did good out there, defending the cruise bazaar. You had up, held it back the entire way. Good, made good decisions. <laughs> Are we gonna hug now? All right, so <laughs> I almost want to just fuck with her like that, so. I appreciate that. Now you need to forgive yourself. You weren't out of position, Iger, and you know it. Iger scowls, uh, scowls at the floor. Thanks. Can't do that, but thanks. Anyway, we should get back to it. We've got an AI to take out out there, after all. She pauses for a moment, frowning. Backfire, do me a favor. Keep your eyes open on this one. We're walking into an unknown here. Makes me a little uneasy. Don't worry, Iger. I've got your back. She smiles, claps you on the shoulder. I know what you do, and I've got yours. You've got, you've more than earned it. <laughs> and you too, Iger. Without another word, the troll slides her shotgun into the sheath of her back and turns to continue her pre-mission checklist. All right.
right. The team is set and ready to go, and what we've got to do is we've got to take out, take out Apex. Let's see if anyone has any extra dialogue before we call it an episode. Okay. Yeah, we've finished our dialogue, so I didn't know if you had anything extra to say. Uh, nope, nothing there. I assumed we were good, but I just wanted to take a double check, so... Nope, don't even have... Alexander's stuff is all the same, so... Okay. Yep, talk to you later. Okay. So, yep. So, now our next step is to take on Apex. But before we do that, we need to spend our money on the shop. And, uh, what will we spend our money on the shop? What will our funny builds be? And, uh, what does the warehouse that holds the old Apex informa uh, backdrop have for us? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Shadowrun Dragonfall. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.